um, what I want to do is just show you guys how to describe and also to kind of just to graph what's happening when we're doing our transformation. So remember guys, the first thing we always want to look at is always remember what our parent graph is going to look like. So when we're dealing with the cubic function, it looks something roughly like that, where we have a continuous function, we've got some arrows, we know it's going to cross at 0, 0. Now the important thing I was trying to stress with you guys is when we're looking at this, um, now we're adding, we're adding a 7 outside of our original uh, parent graph, because this function is f of x equals x cubed. So when there's no transformations, that's what the graph looks like, there's the function. But now what I've done is I've added a 7 to our um, function. So therefore, that is now going to be affecting our y coordinates of every, every point that makes up that graph. So therefore, now my transformation, what I'm doing, this plus 7 is actually going to shift my whole graph up 7 units. So instead of crossing at um, the x and y axis at 0, 0, I'm going to shift this point up 7 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's going to be the exact same graph, except it's now going to be shifted up 7 units. So if I wanted to redraw this graph, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Look at there. So that's really all we're doing when um, we're adding a plus 7. Now on the contrary, if I also was, if I was going to subtract a 7, let's say I just did this for fun, I know it's so much fun, isn't it? But if you were to look at this and you were to say, oh, well, let's say, what would the minus 7 do? Well, that's going to do the exact opposite. That's going to shift it now down 7 units. Because remember, whenever you're adding or subtracting something to your function, that's going to change your y coordinates. So this graph, as my x axes are really crooked, would go down, instead of crossing here, here's our parent graph. It's really important to make sure you know what your parent graphs are would now be shifted down seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is your vertical transformations uh, for a function.